The Human Resource Service Center presents Interview Questions and Answers for a Communications Intern Recording by Eddie Chigozi An internship is an opportunity offered by an employer to potential employees who are called interns. They work at a firm for a fixed period of time. Interns are usually undergraduates or students, and most internships last between a month and three months. Internships are usually part-time if they are offered during a university semester and full-time if they are offered during the vacation periods. A communications intern will learn about marketing, public relations, and the media industry during an internship. As an intern, you acquire on-the-job skills that cannot be replicated in a classroom. While tasks vary depending on the field, television and radio communications roles will differ from print and ad agencies. Interns may participate in marketing strategy meetings. They may post social media statuses. They may contribute to ad campaign ideas. Or they may study customer engagement and perform office administration duties. Here are some interview questions that you will encounter if you are to be selected for a communications internship opportunity. Question. Tell me about your greatest accomplishment. This question has a dual purpose. Your interviewer is interested in getting to know you and understanding how you define success. This is your opportunity to brag, so don't shy away from emphasizing your awesomeness. Your answer to this behavioral interview question should speak to the unique value you will bring to the organization as well as your personal values. After all, it is what you believe is your best and brightest achievement. Here is an answer example. I volunteer with a small local non-profit as their fundraising coordinator. Ironically, they don't have the budget to hire for the role, but it is a very important one. I am really proud of my work because the money I help raise allows the organization to help new immigrants find jobs. In October, we had our annual fundraising drive and I spent most of my weekends and evenings calling donors and sending emails. I was able to exceed the fundraising goal by $10,000, all while staying on top of my coursework, which I consider a pretty great accomplishment. Question. What skills have prepared you to work in communications? In asking this question, your interviewer is checking that you understand what skills are necessary to succeed in this role. Your answer should include a mix of hard and soft skills that were included in the original job description. Provide specific evidence to support your talents wherever possible. Here is an answer example. I have developed strong communication skills through my coursework and my work experience. I pride myself on my ability to clearly convey information to different target audiences by understanding their varied needs and adjusting my focus, my tone, and my voice accordingly. I am also a good listener, which allows me to develop an intimate understanding of a situation and prepare an appropriate response. Additionally, my strong organizational skills will be an asset in this role. Having previously worked in project management, I can stay calm under pressure and stay on top of shifting deadlines. I also have strong research skills, which I have refined through the years of academic research. Question. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Your new employer 
is going to spend a lot of time and money getting you up to speed. So assure them that you are in this for the long run. Be enthusiastic and make it known that this is the job for you. Your five-year plan should follow a natural progression from this position to more advanced roles in the industry. While you don't have to have a specific future role in mind, a little LinkedIn research can provide insight into senior roles at the company. Here is an answer example. I am so excited to build my skill set as a junior communications coordinator at your agency. I am sure I will learn a ton from your incredible team. Once I have a strong understanding of the company's business and structure, I hope to move on to a more senior position, designing and running campaigns. Down the line, I would love to work in a more managerial capacity, managing web development or marketing for the firm. Question. Tell me about a conflict you had at work and how you resolved it. In asking this popular interview question, your interviewer is checking that you can keep cool under pressure and get along with anyone. For a great response, use the STAR method to describe a specific example. In telling your story, briefly describe the negative part of the situation and then concentrate on the resolution and positive outcome. Here is an answer example. Managing conflict is all about empathy and understanding the other person's perspective. And in communications, those are vital traits. As an example, last year, my classmate and I had very different ideas about how to move forward on a presentation we were doing together. We sat down and discussed each of our ideas and soon realized they both had merit. So, we combined them and presented a unified, stronger front to the professor. By understanding the situation from my classmates' point of view and truly hearing each other, we produced an even better end product. Question. What will you do to ensure you'll excel in your new communications role? Are you committed to bettering yourself? Will you continue to learn and grow throughout your career? Your interviewer wants to know if you will take the initiative to keep your professional knowledge and skills in top shape or if you will become complacent once you have the job. Put their fears to rest by telling them how you have prioritized your learning in the past and how you will continue to do so in the future. Here is an answer example. Learning is a part of life for me, and I never want to stop. I take an active role in keeping my communication skills sharp by reading industry articles, staying up to date on current events, and attending networking events. Last year, I attended several events as part of Social Media Week in New York, and I learned a lot. I hope to attend more communications and public relations events going forward. Question. Have you ever worked with the media or written press releases? Your interviewer wants to know how much hands-on experience you will be bringing to the position. If you don't have much, or even if you don't have any, that's okay. Just be sure to highlight whatever media relations or writing skills you will bring to the table. Here is an answer example. During the school year, I volunteer at the local animal shelter, walking dogs and also writing various communications materials, including social media posts and donor letters. The shelter has their biggest fundraiser of the year coming up, so I have been really busy lately, and I just wrote my first press release. It's all about the event, 
to get more people to attend and attract more sponsors. I had never had the opportunity to write an actual press release before. But working my way through it helped me understand the process and improve my writing skills. Question. How do you work effectively within a budget? In marketing and communications, it is crucial to measure costs against returns to ensure your outreach and advertising efforts are having an impact. Your answer should show that you understand budgets and can get creative when faced with financial constraints. Here is how to show off your budgetary prowess. In this example, in my previous role as event planner and volunteer coordinator for an anti-poverty nonprofit. The organization had almost no money for volunteer recruitment. I had to get really creative to produce an active pipeline of volunteers with no communications budget. Instead of paying for advertisements or holding events, I managed to recruit over 50 volunteers just through networking by joining some influential social media groups. Question. How do you stay organized? Communications professionals often field requests from multiple stakeholders and departments at once. So you will need to be an expert multitasker. Your answer should reflect your time management skills as well as your ability to stay calm under pressure. Share how you keep track of your many tasks and their respective deadlines and how you separate the less important tasks from the urgent ones. Bonus points for mentioning that you reassess priorities and needs on a regular basis. Here is an answer example. I pride myself on being organized, and there is nothing I love more than a good to-do list. I recently switched from a notebook to Trello, which allows me to make my lists online and update them from anywhere. When I have a big project, I break it into smaller, more manageable parts and work through each component. I also believe there is no substitute for in-person interactions, so I always schedule regular check-ins with all involved parties to ensure that I am on track and there are no last-minute changes. Question. Why should we select you for this position? Communications degrees are extremely versatile, but roles can also be very competitive. This question is your chance to sell yourself. Be sure to mention any special skills you have that would be valuable in the role, highlighting what differentiates you from other candidates. Set yourself apart from the pack with an answer like this. I have excellent written and verbal communication skills, but I also have a great eye for design. Having interned at a design agency last summer, I can know the basics of Adobe Creative Suite, which I think is a huge asset in a communications position. Question. What social media channels are you familiar with? In any communications-related role, you will be expected to know all the major social media platforms. In addition to listing the platforms you know, provide a specific example of how you have used one of them to build followership, increase shares, etc. If there are other smaller platforms you have experience with, Don't forget to highlight those as well. Here is an answer example. I know all the main social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. In school, I manage all social media accounts for the a cappella group I am in at school. I post two to five times a week leading up to each concert. 
with behind-the-scenes photos and videos. I create polls about which song we should arrange next, which really gets our followers involved. Since I took over, attendance at our shows has gone up 11%. The Human Resource Service Center has a social media subscription of over 18,000 people spread across WhatsApp, Telegram, and Facebook. The Human Resource Service Center is offering you an opportunity to advertise jobs for free on their website and Facebook pages. To view the jobs advertised, just go to the website www.humanresourcecenter.com. On Facebook, simply search for Human Resource Service Center. Reduce on your recruitment costs by advertising with the Human Resource Service Center. Contact them on phone or by WhatsApp. The number is plus 256-772-481-995 or you can send email to info at humanresourcecenter.com.